What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. This video is gonna be dedicated to my new daily. Uh, just recently bought this R33 sedan, NA Auto. Uh, it's pretty grandpa spec on the inside, pretty nasty. But, uh, and it's also super dirty. I just went down a dirt road, so. Yeah, I've uh, got some parts put on this thing, coilovers, uh, some new wheels I just bought. So we'll get on to that. It's pretty boring and simple. Um, I want to also extend the LCAs and do that. So that'll be what this video is dedicated to, because now my truck car is all sorted. Well, partly sorted. I just need to get new fuel pumps and then take it back for a retune. And that's that thing done, ready for, ready for comp. I should have washed this before I put it in the shed, but uh, it's pretty tidy. It's also pretty nasty. I put some Series 2 coupe headlights in them and also freshened up the fog lights. They look 10 times better than what they used to. Uh, what else? It's Series 2, obviously. Ugh. Series 2 25DE Auto. It's got the battery in the engine bay, which is stupid as, but it's there. Um, pretty tidy. It's also got the gold plate. So the person who owned it in Japan personally imported it themselves instead of a uh, company doing it. Something, oh, I actually don't even know what it is, but it's something, it's rare. It's something different compared to, uh, to the usual pink or green plate, whatever it is. But this thing's, it's a good base. It's super stock, got a custom exhaust on it. Fully hectic. <laughs> but uh, I've also got this 25DE Neo ready for a plus T. So I'll do that eventually. Don't know when. And these are the adjustable coilovers I've got for it. I don't know what they are. JRC suspension project. No idea what that means. Then I've got my new rims. The Nomoto meshes. They're in 16s. They are, they're multi-stud. So they'll fit my turbo car and this one. Because this one's actually four stud. Then I've got... Need to get new tires for two of them. But I'll be able to just test fit them up with the new coils in. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Now it's pretty straightforward pulling these things out. There's a bolt there and a bolt on that side. Pick that ass up. Then you got a 10 mil here and a 10 mil on the other side. Unbolt it, then you got the tops up there. So super easy. There's a 10 mil there, which, where is it? Right there. Straight out, and there'll be another one right here. Straight out. You gotta pull the seat out of the way. Brush just lifts it up because there's hooks underneath it. Bit harder, boy. No, 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 up then out. I got a phone in mine. There we go. Like that. Piece of cake. Then the coilover tops are right there, as you can see. Just pick the pass shelf up, probably get a torch, might be able to see easier. But simple as one, two, three. Scratch, scratch. Clean, all done. Here we go, got the ratchet on. more ideal to have the socket on properly <laughs> unlike me but I'm a professional so I can do what I want that's one side done so I'll do the other side now and I can jack it up the back's all undone now so I'm gonna do the tops of the front now just get a, a spanner first and undo it because it's gonna be pretty tight you don't want to rattle gun it because I might fuck it <laughs> jack it up and then you can undo it from the bottom. Hunk of junk battery rattle gun did not work, so resorted to old faithful. <laughs> That's better. 
get in there. But the circlip on this thing is stuffed and it's like kind of rounded, so it doesn't hold on properly. Just need to keep an eye on that. All right, the nasty wheels are off. And I was about to start undoing the coil over and I've noticed I've got a bent toe arm. So, probably explains why it's a bit, uh, the wheel's a bit off. Um, what else is bent? Uh, I can't tell. But if you look at this one, <clears throat> look at that one there, you can see that's straight. And then this one, Bank. Oh well. Nah, did not work. I trusted you. Try it again. Come on, get on. Old faithful again. Oh, here. Oh. Get very good. Oh, that's almost off. Okay, that's kind of scary. Uh -oh. um, you need to look at the with one hand. I believe it's got to go down and then it should release some of the pressure. So I'll try to do that. God, oh, fuck it. What the hell? She's out. Piece of crap. She's stuck in there good. <laughs> Fuck around. Right, I could need two hands for this. That's one old coil over out now. Bit of a length difference. But uh, hopefully these will go all the lows. So it's sitting on the rim. Basically the exact same thing for the front. This has ABS lines connect to it, so just, yeah, 10 mil under that. And she's out. So looking here, you can see a bit of rust in the threads. This thing was actually seized at a certain height. Uh, so obviously, trusty WD-40 came in handy. Uh, clamped it up, managed to break this loose. I can actually wind this all the way back now. So I'm going to pull the base off and then clean up these threads with a wire wheel. Just so, given the uh, inevitable, if I get pulled over and defected, I can just easily raise it up and you're laughing. So I'll probably do the same thing with this one because this one's probably seized as well. It can, they can be a dog. I've had some where I actually couldn't get them to break free, but thank God these ones at least came loose. You can see why this thing actually seized. Look at all the rust and the threads. So I'll wire that up now. Make it look brand spanking. Much better now. I cleaned all the WD-40 off of the base <coughs> and the threads because I've got some anti-seize here. So probably better to have this bad boy on there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so yeah, I'll put that around the threads and it'll be much better than nothing because it'll end up just doing the same thing. Water will get in it and it will seize. So I've got the front coil overs done, but I'm also maxed out and put some anti-seize on the threads. <clears throat> but with the rear ones, not so much. I'm struggling to get this thing, the base plate loose here. I've even pulled out the eyelet to spray some CRC and some WD-40 up there. I've got this one currently in the vise trying to do it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of clamping it on the locking rings, but in this case, I kind of have to do it. And I've got this massive pole trying to break it loose. And it's obviously way too hard to film. Um, I've got a breaker bar in the eyelet. Just, uh, yeah, best leverage sort of thingy, with jiggy. But hopefully this will break it loose. Uh, every time I try and do it, it either undoes the locking rings or it undoes this nut. So it's super annoying. 
So I've cranked this one on with a big adjustable wrench and this pole. Done it pretty tight. Hopefully I can crack it loose with this two meter pole. Yeah, I can't even point it there. Let's get it done. Well, I'll admit when I'm defeated, it's been probably a good hour now. That's me trying to last ditch effort with the multi grips. Uh, I actually pulled the thread out of this from the eyelet, so I'm stuffed now. <laughs> Unless I can find a big high coil for this uh, this big ass bolt. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's annoying as hell. But the fronts are done, they're max low, and I'm just gonna chuck them in. See how they look. This one actually had a bit of thread at the top, I didn't realize, probably a good uh, couple mil, so. Yeah, I reckon it'll be fine, um, but maybe one day, um, hopefully I won't have these for too long. Probably get some, probably chuck the ones out of my truck car into this and get some shock works one day for the truck car. But basically it's the exact same way as putting them in. I'll probably put the, the top in first and I'll lift the assembly up to make it meet up to the bolt. I'll just start down it and then I'll just zip tie, zip tie this to the clover. But hour job turned into three hour job but right, i'll chuck them in right now Finished product. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's too low and I can't get off the hoist. So it's sitting on the hoist at the moment, which is hopefully good. I reckon, oh, it's gonna, I feel like I have to roll these guards. I need to go pick up a guard roll tomorrow. But uh, it's gonna look fat as. Far hell yeah. I missed having an NA rig on uh, tiny boy wheels. <laughs> it's gonna look mint. I'm gonna get off the hoist now, just so I can suss it out before I go inside. But yeah, definitely needs these LCAs. I might go 15 mil, maybe 25 at a max. All right, let's have a quick suss of what this is gonna look like when it drops on the ground. Oh yeah. Oh, baby. Woo. She looks tough. And it's sitting on the tire, so when I roll it, it's gonna go even further down. Hell yeah, it looks dope right now. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, it's gonna go a bit further as well, which that's gonna be sick. I wish I had a guard roller, but I don't. Mint. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah. Needs to camp. <coughs> <coughs> oh, Corona. Just needs camber in the front to match the rear. Yay. It's a bit late at the moment, so I might finish up here and come back tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow. It's pretty much Christmas, so... Hopefully tomorrow or the next day. I need to roll the guard, so I pretty much have to get this done because it's my daily. Uh, but it's looking sick. I'm stoked at the moment. Quick little how to do coilovers, but it's pretty simple. Um, especially on an R33, they're very, very easy. Guidelines, Sylvia's, all that crap, they're all pretty much the same. But this thing is looking fat. Hell yeah. Next is a manual swap. I reckon, and then after that, I'll probably plus T it. Um, 
don't know about what I'll do with the Neo yet. Might put it in, might not. All right, I'll come back in the next couple of days. We're back the next day. Got the, uh, the guard roller here. We're about to attack the guards right now. They're pretty untouched. A lot of mud in there. <laughs> Nasty. Um, I've already done the other side and it didn't come up the greatest. It's a bit ripply. I don't know. It's eight. Got a bit of a roll on there. Can't really see shit. Um, but hopefully when it drops down, it'll sit nice right about here. I pulled the covers off. I was going to do the fronts. But they're not actually rubbing that bad, and I can't be bothered tucking this yet. So I might chuck this thing back on and roll this another day. Just because I'm lazy. It was basically Christmas tomorrow, so... This side is fine. It's like barely rubbing. You can see right there, it's only just every now and then. So I'll do that. Just do the rears, I reckon. I still need new tyres anyway. But basically, the guard roller bolts to the hub. You gotta hit the guard up a little bit first because if you don't do that, it starts chewing into the wheel, which you don't want. And it's not my guard roller, so I don't want that. <laughs> so I'll just smack it a little bit first. Obviously get all the dirt out first because you don't want that crushing up against the guard. And I'll give her a quick little massage. Guards are rolled and the wheels are on. Let's hope they clear when I drop it down. Oh yeah, stuck on the bloody jacket. Oh! Oh god damn. Full finger clearance. <laughs> Perfect. Could go lower. Hell yeah. It looks sick. She's on the ground. She's rolling. Not a scrape in the world. Woo! Damn! Look at this beast. Just look at it. Absolutely perfect. Get my finger in there, so might have to add a space to what I'm saying. Not sure yet. I still need to get new tires. I can't even drive it because they're on the wires. Um, front can go a bit lower. As well as when I can be bothered, I'll wire tuck the loom and do some LCAs. I'm not going to have time at the moment. I also need to change that compressor, AC compressor thingamajig, making super bad noises. But yeah, yeah, it's looking sick. Exactly how I wanted it. With meshies, small meshies. Sacked on its ass. Perfect. Not as good as that one, but it's pretty cool. Got it parked in the uh, in the garden. <laughs> Just to get some nice photos for it. It's looking baller. I'm loving it. <laughs> but I think that'll be it for this video. I didn't really have time to do the LCAs because it's Christmas tomorrow. So I don't know when I'll get this video out because I'm pretty busy, but it is looking tough as hell. It reminds me of my old, <clears throat> my truck car, because I had that thing on 16s on the same meshes slam. It was a bit more beat up, had like punched in quarters and doors were a bit damaged, but it was just bringing back memories. <laughs> I'll see if I can chuck a photo or video up of it, of that car. That thing was sick. Was Twenty five D E Neo manual made hundred and thirty four kilowatt and it's just a beast.
this is it. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, let me know. And um, I'll hopefully get another video up soon of doing, hopefully the manual conversion, because I've got a manual conversion lined up. Or, sorry, gearbox lined up. I've pretty much got everything for the manual conversion. Just need a clutch and tail shaft. And then LCA will be next on the list. Uh, side skirts, a lip. I've got uh, weather shields I want to put on it. Tinted windows, obviously. Needs to be tinted windows. I'm, I hate driving it. You can see straight through. Um, rear pods. And the plus T. I think the plus T will be a bit later. But I've got everything. I probably should just do it to this motor. I probably will do that. I just want to get an external gate, I think. Because no one wants internal gate. And a high mount. Definitely want a high mount. Can't go wrong with a nice high mount. <clears throat> um, fuck, how many times do I want to say high mount? Uh, <laughs> don't need to get an external gate. Um, I'll probably will get just like a 40 mil, something small. Um, just make it sound nice. It means, <laughs> it's going to be never ending. It means I, get a, I want to get a better turbo. Probably see if Taylor can high flow the, the 21 new. God damn it. Maybe I'll get 85,000 cc injectors. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Hopefully I can get another daily soon because this thing's clearly not going to be dailyable any, anymore. Like, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Try to stop my track car a defect on wheels. Um, yeah. Hopefully you like this video and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.